Well, hello, boys and girls. It's when I feel like it o'clock. I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom. Knocking down picks when I feel like it. And I feel like it now. So we're doing it now. Uh, thank you for all you subscribers and you commenters down in the comment section. Uh, I hope everybody's getting their Pearls of Wisdom necklaces. Melissa and Hernandez have been going 24-7 sending out uh, your pearls of wisdom necklaces for subscribing to the channel. Uh, yeah, they're, they're coming it out there. So please be patient. Be patient. Uh, I'll be doing picks for you. That's what we do here at Pearls of Wisdom Industries. Uh, we do uh, fine picks and I have a Patreon. You can go check it out too. We make money there. So if you like making money, probably a good place to go. Uh, I'll, give you, I'll give you a month for free. Just to try it out, just to prove it. Making money, stay. Not making money, go, go. Free. You can leave anytime and you're not locked into nothing. Okay, uh, what I want to do today, before we head off into our picks here, is I want to go over to this thing here. That's my weekly report. I don't know why I got that on right now. But let's go over here. Look at this. These are some of the fine... Uh, commenters here. Uh, Doug Reed, he's been watching my program for a long time. He's been around for a while. Love the guy. He said, I'd like you to wear a 70s Afro, Afro type wig for shits and giggles, like the drummer from Grand Funk. First of all, Grabbed Funk, I, I misspelt it, is the shit. Uh, first of all, Grand Funk is the shit. It's friggin' awesome. But I was thinking maybe the painter guy. Uh, Bob Ross, if you know who he is. Tell me if you know who he is in the comment section. See if I can get myself a painter guy wig. That would be a lot of fun. Ronald Sanders tells me, good morning, your volume down low. It's not down low. I, I hope I got it right. I keep on doing adjustments and something. I don't know what's going on with it, but I got my mic like right here. It's like right here right now. If it doesn't work this time, I don't know. Uh, Doug Reed wants to know my email. <laughs> I got burned on the Rangers. Yeah. On the last leg of his parlay. The rain, uh, that sucks. It was six, nothing. Uh, worse yet. If you had a PL on, uh, Pittsburgh in a parlay and they came back and won that one, that would suck. Especially if it was the last leg. Uh, Leafs lose tonight. Yes, they do. John Weichel. That's, uh, Trayvon Jackson. Thanks for commenting on that. Cannots win again if they make the playoffs. I will laugh. Uh, probably not, because I don't. Not too many teams are going to drop the ball like Toronto did the last two games. Uh, Vancouver's going to be playing a crap load of games in the next little while, and they got to win a lot of them. So they're going to be doing back to backs like crazy and all of that. But that's Craig Brack, and you are all getting a Pearls of Wisdom bracelet. Sent to you in the mail. We're not. We're too busy to do all of them in the uh, perlocopter. So we're going to send them in the mail. Off. They're off to your land, and uh, you get to have that. Okay. Well, let's get to our picks for the day, shall we? Thought I'd just go out to some of my fans. There, fans. They're not fans. They're just people who listen to what I do. Fans. Uh <laughs> Who do I think I am? I get 80 views. Yeah, I got lots of fans. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. Boston, Buffalo versus Boston. I am going to go Sabres PL here. Uh, just feels like it to me. Just feels like a spot for Buffalo. Uh, they lost the last one. You got to figure they're going to be able to grind one in there against Hall. Swayman is going to be a net for for uh, Boston. Now, the kid has played extremely well. He looks like a phenom for sure. But honestly, would you still you still feel better with Rask nonetheless, right? Uh I, I want I want to see Tukarski do it. I want to see Tukarski uh get himself a win here. I'm being a wimp and I'm taking on the PL which pays really well. Uh what do we got there? Spread uh, pays two. What the heck? 
The way Buffalo's been playing, that's value. Value, for sure. And uh, I'm going to go the under. I'm going to be the – I'm not going against the green here. I'm going to go the under. I still think Swayman will play well. Tukarski, look at his numbers the last couple games. He's been playing well too. Um, yeah, it's going to be a tough one. At the very least, I just think Buffalo will keep this close. I think they're going to come in angry on this one. And Boston may be overlooking the Matad. Maybe. It's hard to say Boston does that. Hopefully I don't get burnt on this, but uh, it feels just feels like it. You know, when it feels down there in your insides. Does that? Oh, I'm watching San Jose Vegas right now. I need Vegas to score a goal. I got Vegas on the PL. You'll see that when we do our games. Carolina, Florida. This is a coin flip game. To me, it could go either way. Uh, I'm going to take the home team because it's a coin flip team. If you go to bet online, you can get it for 203 right now for Florida. That is killer. 204 at Pinnacle and five dimes. Look at that. Can you get any higher now? That's pretty good. Um, I'm not totally confident in it, to tell you the honest truth. I think it'll be a tough game. Uh, Nadelkovich is supposed to be going in. Oh, over the net. Uh, Nadelkovich is supposed to be going in. Um, he's freaking getting better and better as the year go, as as things go on here. I think they gotta consider him the number one now. We'll see if they go with if Carolina goes with Morazic. I like this for Florida better, and it's possible they do here. Trigger is probable. So um, surprise, maybe they didn't go back with the kid again, Spencer Knight. That would have been interesting. He got a, didn't he get a shutout the last game? No. Uh, I think there was an empty netter or something like that. But I don't think he got scored on while he was in the net. Anyways, love that that kid looks amazing. Another young, good young goaltender. Uh, Washington versus the Islanders. Chara and Schultz are out for Washington. The Islanders got their offense going against the Rangers. Now it is the Rangers, not the greatest defense. But Vanacek is projected right now. If it's going to be Vanacek, uh, I'm going with the Islanders here. And uh, as far as the over-under, I'm, I'm, I think under. Uh, it's hard to say. That one is a coin flip. I wouldn't put a lot on that because Vanacek can, can let in some softies. So, um, and, and if the Islanders did get their offense going against the Rangers, maybe get some confidence and continuity, they might be able to pot a couple, but... Um, if it was on the road, I'd be under for sure. But the Islanders sometimes score a little bit more at home. And you know Washington can score. So Pittsburgh versus New Jersey. Wedgwood is supposed to be in for New Jersey. I don't know why. I don't see where Backstrom is injured. Like, are they really just mailing it in here? And tanking? They must be. And if that's the case, the players are going to know it. And they're just going to keep on losing. New Jersey is going to keep on losing. I can't see, like, after last game, letting New Jersey come in and open the door in the back door there in the last third period. I don't know if that was the right way to say that. I don't want anybody coming in the back door. But anyways, um, I've taken Pittsburgh. I had the PL there. I'm going back to it, though. You can't stop me. You can't stop me. I'm going back to the PL and I'm taking you over. Tampa Bay versus Columbus. Um, I will go Tampa Bay here. I have to. Uh, this is a kind of game that Tampa Bay struggles the crap against Columbus. So, do you think they could actually do it again here? Are they is there, are they going to burn me against a Columbus team that is just poop? Anyways, it depends if Corpus is in that too, but. Oh, wait, McElhaney might be in. If McElhaney is in, it's over, over, over all day. If McElhaney is in. And maybe even Columbus, because Columbus just has their number. I don't know what it is. Could Tampa Bay, could Tampa Bay should buck that trend here as Columbus has just looked absolutely awful. But I think Columbus beat them last time they played. They just... Ever since that playoffs, it's in their head or something like that. I'm leaning to Tampa Bay, but I mean, I only like them on the ML here. And you're only getting 136, so over is really the best play. Uh, Philadelphia versus the Rangers. 
I'm going back and forth on this one, but Elliott's in that. I mean, against Shesterkin, you got to take the Rangers here. You got to figure the Rangers need it more. Philadelphia knows they're out of it now. They have been playing better, but uh, I'm still going to go the Rangers, and I'm, I'll just go the money line because the Philadelphia is kind of playing a trap like system lately. So, so where do you go over under? Is it six? It's hard to go under here, isn't it? It really is. No, I'm going to go over. And Golden Knights just scored. So Detroit versus Dallas. Um, what's the money line on this? Uh, 146. I, I, I took Detroit PL last game. Dallas has got some injuries. I'm going to go back to it again. Bernier had a bad game. That's what's kind of concerning for me. He comes back from injury. Didn't look good, but I don't think that's going to happen twice. I'm going to go under. That'll be probably the bigger bet. And uh, I'll take Detroit PL. What are we getting on the spread? Ooh, you're only getting 163 on the spread. The Dallas really needs this game. Uh, I'm on the fence on that, honestly. I'll take, yeah, Detroit PL. St. Louis, Colorado. This game is apparently going to go. Now, I've been doing, uh, I've been saying, you know, teams are going to be, uh, teams are going to be rusty after long layoffs and stuff like that, but that hasn't happened at all this year. Not even Vancouver, who beat Toronto. And uh, it appears that it's a benefit to go through COVID because <laughs> almost every team that's come back from COVID has knocked it out of the park. So... I'm going to stick to Colorado against St. Louis here. Uh, we'll see who the goaltender is. We'll see who's in tomorrow, too. That's the other thing. We don't even know that. Uh, uh, look at this. Ranton could be out. No, Ranton will be out. Byram, I hear, is going to be back. Nope. No, still not sure. Grubauer could be hurt. Oh, boy. So that means, uh, wow, that's tough. That makes it tougher now. Dubnik will be playing. Yeah, I'm still going to go Colorado. Over. Colorado and over. If Dubnik's going to be in Colorado and over. Ottawa versus Vancouver. Now, Ottawa wins two against Toronto. They're playing three games and four right off the get-go here. Um, I believe Ottawa last played in Calgary and they've had a couple days in Vancouver hanging out now. Um, yeah, let's go. Sorry about that. Okay. Ottawa. Yeah, they just had a couple days. Went to Vancouver. Um, okay, hope you're going to be that good. Tough game to tap, honestly. Ottawa could win this game. I, I think Ottawa on the puck line. What are you getting on that? What are you getting on the spread? 161, 156. Wow. Money line for... No, Vancouver's getting good juice. I'll take Vancouver 171. We'll hope that Hopi can keep it together. Hopi's going to have three good games in a row. This just seems so unlikely. Maybe he was injured. And, uh, and, and uh, taking time off from COVID, he's healthy again. Anyways... I guess that's what I'll do. Well, boys and girls, there you go. You got your picks. All the picks in the land to you. You can head off now. Uh, I am going to look at the games from last night with all the people that want to stick around and do that. And we're going to see how much money we made, which I think has been pretty good. Looking pretty good. 
Uh, looking really good, actually. Up again, up again, up again, up again. For those of you that are just doing the picks and got to head out, go do that. Okay, let's go. Uh, let's go look at the games for today. We got to do it quick. Ah, okay. First game. Let me refresh here. Golden Knights. Uh, if San Jose doesn't score here, uh, we got. I think it was. Was it over six? I I can't remember if it was over six. Yeah, it was over six. We need one more goal from Vegas. Nobody else. I'll take the push because. The Golden Knights PL was my five banger tonight. Big pearls on that. And we had the over. So it was paying 191. So nice pickup, right? But over four units on that one. Uh, this is still going on. We had the Oilers for medium and the under. I'm uh, going to take a little bit of a loss on that if the Oilers can't pull it out. Uh, they haven't looked good. Most inconsistent team. They're my team, and they're very inconsistent. Uh, not mine, but they're my Philadelphia Flyers and the Oilers are my two favorite teams, and Vegas is catching up quick. Uh, Blackhawks versus Predators. I had the Predators, so they were up 4-1 after two. Dropped it, but we had the over, so it was pretty much a wash. Uh, didn't have a lot on it. I was a little unsure about both. So we're still up. And then the Wild versus the Coyotes. We had the Wild for large in regulation. And the under five and a half. So we are up many units today. I think about what, six or seven, something like that. Great day. Great day again for us. Uh, thank you very much for, I hope you're betting all these and making money. I really do hope you do. And if you like to do this seven days a week, if you in, if you want to enjoy this fine programming seven days a week, well, um, at least as far as getting picks are concerned, you can go over to my Patreon. It'll be in the description. Hit it. I'll give you a free month. I don't do this generally Friday and Saturday videos, so if you want my picks on the weekend, you'll have to go that way, my friends. That's how I make a living, one of the ways. I also make a living with uh, a show that I do from 3 to 5 on this channel daily. It's a pick show, sort of. Everybody puts their picks in. We just have fun. It's a fun pick show. You, you, you uh, tell me who's going to win, what the score is going to be, and you get points and there's fabulous prizes and we just talk about hockey in general moves playoffs who's going to win the awards all that kind of stuff like that it is a lot of frolic my friends there will be frolic if you go if you enjoy frolic i would highly recommend you do that that's my full 42 have a great day everybody okay bye